Hello guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a little update on my mantis that recently grew. He has molted and he is hungry. So he got a pretty big meal to deal with and it took a long time for him to finish it. But before we get into the feeding, I wanna show you a quick update on my smallest tarantula slings that I got in the unboxing. I think it was maybe a month ago. Two. Anyways, a couple of weeks ago. And I'm gonna show you that update. And after that update, we're gonna jump straight into the mantis feeding. There's also another thing I want to share with you guys. I started with a new tattoo project. And as you can see, I mean, it's not even halfway done. And there's so much details on the spiders. And the plan is to cover the lower arm from down here up to here and uh, with some cool background. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because I'm really excited. And I'm not gonna ask you to guess what spiders there are because the details are not even close to be done, but I'm sure you're gonna be able to see what it is. I'm going for a black color on everything, but I'm sure you will be able to see what it is. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys because I'm super happy and excited about it. And I can't wait for it to be done. And obviously I'm gonna make an update when the next sitting is. And I have two more sittings, so it's gonna be done in one and a half months. Because you have to wait two weeks before you can go back and continue working on the same spot because he has to heal. Otherwise, it will hurt like hell. So yeah, we don't wanna do that. So it's gonna take about one, maybe one and a half months before it's done. I'm really excited to show you the process of that. And I don't know if it's just me that are excited about this, but I might just do an update anyways. But if you are at least a little bit excited, please let me know. So I just know that it's not just for me that I'm doing that. I mean, I think it's gonna be really cool, but yeah. So let's uh, roll the clips. Before we get into the main topic of this video, I just wanna make a little quick update on the spiderlings that I got on my first unboxing on this channel. And if you remember, there were L1s and L1s means they haven't molted. So they're super small, especially since two of them were dwarf species. But a lot of stuff has happened. I, I'm guessing all of them have bird right now. Yeah. Anyways, the Nando Chromatus, I think they're called. They molted once. So they're all L2s right now. The Ami species Panama. I think two of them molted. One haven't. And the prey atoms I have right now is the smallest dubious I can find to put in here. And even though they're all the smallest dubious I can find, it's still super hard to see if they have been eating on it or not. So, but they're molting, so they're growing. So I think they're nibbling on the food a little bit. But here's the thing I really want to make an update about. The sea elegans, which are super tiny. Let me see which one it is. Yeah, this one. This one is the only one that are still in its cage or box or whatever you call it. What would you call it? Cylind cylinder, maybe. Anyways, it's the only one that's still in here. So I always kept this lid on because I knew they could probably get through those ventilation holes. So one time when I came to feed these guys, I saw there was a C. elegans sitting out here in this. And they can't get through those ventilation holes that are on here because they're too small. So, I uh, basically just took out everything, poured some dirt on the other side, and closed it. Because since they're so small, I didn't want to put them back in here, because they will probably get lost. And I know that they can't get out of this bin because the ventilation is so tiny. So this is not really the optimal cage for it, or terrarium, whatever you call it. Uh, because it's too big, it's hard to keep track on the moisture, and it's hard to keep track on the feeding but I just had to make the best out of the situation. So when you see those holes, they are so tiny, but both these tubes are empty because two of them escaped. So I'm gonna show you how those two new setups look. So as you see, I put the lid on because if that happens again, I mean, we don't wanna go through that again because there's still one sea elegans in there. So what I did, now I just moistened it because it was a little bit dry. What I do is I, put a little roach about right here on the dirt. And now I just took it out before this video and I could see that, well, in my opinion, something had nibbled on it. So I really hope that the spiders in here is one day I'm just gonna see it and it's gonna be like, whoa, it's big now. Because I don't think I'm gonna see it before it turns big. But it's in here somewhere, it can't get out. And as long as it doesn't die, I'm gonna eventually see a bigger spider. And 
and same setup for the other one. This is actually the first one that I got out. And same thing here, I put a little brooch up here and hopefully he will nibble on it. This one I couldn't see if it was on it or not. But yeah, he's in here somewhere. And as you can see, this is what I mean. This is not optimal. Like a tiny tarantula that is basically like this size. Oh, like the thing I'm pointing at right there. It's impossible to see it, find it and see if it's been eating. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. So that's why it's better to keep slings in something smaller like those tubes. And then when they grow, you can upgrade them to something like this. But yeah, that was just a quick little update I wanted to make for you guys. So let's get back into the real reason why you're watching this video. All right, so I figured it would be about time to make a mantis feeding because it's been so long. And as you can see, he has grown so much. He's so big. If you compare him or her to the old molt, that was only half of it. Here is the other half. So that huge thing fit in that little thing right here, which is insane. I never seen anything grow so much from a molt, but I can only compare with trash lets, so. I'm gonna see if he is hungry. He has not been fed since he molted, so I'm sure he's gonna want to eat. So let's see. If the roach will move. I'm gonna try another roach, because the other one didn't move at all. I just noticed that <laughs> he's looking at me. Hey, it's food. You want it? Oh, I see it. Get it. There we go. There we go. Nice. I'm gonna zoom in for you. Look at that. And he starts eating right away. So dope. I'm actually gonna make this into a time lapse because it's gonna take a while for him to finish this. And I'm gonna see if I can get some cool angles. Oh, first of all, look at this. That is the roach that is battling, like, because he just starts to eat it alive. And obviously the roach doesn't want that, so. But I've never seen the roach fight that much. All right, so I'm gonna make this into a time lapse. And you can see when this mantis is basically eating the roach alive. Nice. <laughs>
right, so I'm gonna end the time lapse right there. And it's been one hour and 50 minutes, not 15, 50 minutes. So almost two hours since he got his meal. So I bet this has been a really long time lapse. So I haven't edited it yet, so I wouldn't know, but I don't think I ever recorded this long. So I hope you still enjoyed watching it. And I hope you didn't eat while you were watching it because I know it's pretty gross. He literally eats the thing alive and he eats everything. Except that PC drop right there. So yeah, they're pretty amazing. I know he's gonna get bigger, which is amazing too. So I can't wait to feed him when he's even bigger. That's all I had to share with you guys. Please let me know in the comments if anyone out there keeps their own mantis. It's always uh, cool to know if there's anyone watching that keeps the same pets. And don't forget to like the video. Please leave a comment and I will see you in the next video. Uh -huh.